I felt like I had been hitting the ball hard. Um, but like I said, ultimately, I, I want to go out here and help this team win. And, and sometimes you just need to, you know, find a way to get on base, get a hit here and there, and, and, and try to make something happen. So, I mean, I think, you know, rounding second base or rounding first base, seeing that ball leave the, the, the yard was uh, about as emotional as I get because I felt like it was – you know, a moment where I, I was able to contribute and, and, and get this team back tied, and um, it just felt felt really good. Got here today, knew I wasn't playing, and as opposed to human nature going in the cage trying to reinvent the wheel because I've been going through a little struggle uh, of recent, not getting a lot of results, um, I didn't do much. I just, uh, you know, watched guys hit. I took a couple swings, and I just stayed with the process and, and trusted it and, and knew what I was doing was eventually going to pay off. And, you know, coaching staff's been great. These players have been great. You talk about, you know, somewhat being unlucky over the last, you know, two, three weeks and just continue to grind and, and have good at-bats. And, and like I said, it's always good to get some results. The nice thing, the blessing with not having any individual guy carry us to this point is everyone feels as if, when they step in the box, you know, they have their moment and we believe in one in, one another. Uh, you don't get that a lot of places. Normally, teams struggle offensively and you hop on someone's back and you're kind of waiting for that guy's turn to come up and you're hoping for good results. I feel like it's not just one through nine. It's guys coming off the bench contributing. No matter who, you know, Louie and, and Jousey call off the bench to contribute, uh, no one's upset about you know, getting pinch hit for, they, they, they trust the next guy to get the job done. Sometimes you play the matchup, sometimes you play the hot hand, sometimes you just go out on a limb, but we all believe in one, one another, and uh, I think that's why we've been able to just, when things don't look very good offensively, we, we still figure out ways to win games. What's the game plan against Norris for you guys? Obviously, he's a guy that you face a lot. Yeah, two-pitch guy. I mean, in theory, it sounds easy. It's either a fastball or a split, but... You know, uh, he's got a, a fastball that runs and he likes to live at the top of the zone and he's got that splitter that you need to see up or it's on the, on the bottom of the zone. So you're kind of playing this up-down game with him and, uh, you know, sometimes a, a simple approach of just kind of looking middle-middle, making your adjustment. I know some guys are, are sitting on certain pitches uh, in different counts and different scenarios, but I don't know. I it's a tough at bat. He's been a closer in the big leagues for a long time. Um, you know, I think there is an element of, of comfort with a lot of guys here ha having seen him a lot. Um, but we just just continue to grind out at bats. Anytime you, you're facing guys within your division, you've seen them, there is an element of comfort. It just really comes down to execution. Sometimes they execute their pitches, you're going to be out. Sometimes they make mistakes, and we just got to capitalize on them. To be back at this point, playing in front of fans, a sold-out crowd uh, in New York, um, you know, and have the bases loaded in the ninth inning um, is, a, is a pretty magical feeling. It, it feels normal. It feels it's much appreciated. And like I said, hopefully it's the first of many.